welcome back to another exciting rebuild. This time I'm going to focus on this cheap controller, the Flysky FST6. Uh, this is a really, really cheap controller, and you can buy it for around 40 euro from eBay with a receiver. That is that. I mean, that's nothing. You get a lot of functionality. You get a full-blown six-channel transmitter that works really, really well. But the problem with this transmitter is, if we go down a little bit like this, the buttons you have here, every one of them are two-channel buttons. Some cases you actually want to have a three-channel. Uh, but you also have two of these knobs. Uh, so what I'm going to use you do here is utilize one of the knobs and switch that to be able to use a three channel button instead. The one like this. This one will cost you roughly around, I would say, one euro, two euros at most, depending on where you buy them. Really good, simple three button switch. The same as you have on the more complicated controllers. Um, you also need two resistors. Uh, let me show you a small, small drawing of how this should work. So let's look at the drawing. You have this little three-way here and when you're looking at it you can see that this is the connection of the um, normal knob resistor that we have today. This is the red, brown and white. If you look here you will see that you have red, brown and white. And the resistor is between those two ends. It's a 5k resistor. So what it actually does is when you have it in the middle here, let's draw. You have this knob here where you actually choose where to have the resistance. Between this point here and this point here, you have 5k, 5 kilo ohms. So what this actually does, it chooses where to be on this lane. If it is in the middle, then we will have a voltage divider. I think we have roughly 3 volt on this end on red and 0 on this one. So in the middle that will become 1.5 volt. So if you turn a lot more here you get lower voltage and over there higher voltage. So if we take this switch now you will see that this one connected the same way red, brown and white directly here but we have one two and a half and one two and a half resistor in the middle. That means if we have this in the middle, the power will go here and there. This one will be connected directly in the middle and nothing going sideways. That means we will have in the middle as the same as this drawing that is half the voltage. If we turn this to the one side or the other side, that means that, for instance, right side here, that means that this one will be connected on the left side here. That means the red will totally be connected to the brown. The same as we take this one here and turn the knob fully to the red side. And if we turn it to the other way, we go the other side. Uh, so that's basically it. It's not hard to do at all. As I said, you need two resistors and you need this three-way switch. To be able to do this modification, you need to pick this controller apart. It's rather simple. There is four screws here. When you have removed those four screws you will be able to pick this apart. So when all are removed, there so let's see if we can pick this apart. When you turn this upper sign down, if you have the screws left, be aware that they will fall out in your hand. When working with this, I recommend to pull out the battery plug. Uh, this is marked, so it should not be any problem to put it back there. Then you put the lid aside. Now you have the back side of this. As I said, we are going to utilize this knob here to the three button switch up in this corner. As you can see, there are three junctions here. And this one has two. So we are going to remove this totally, and this one will not be used at all. Uh, this knob here is 5k knob, so what you need is a couple of resistors, as I will have shown before in the drawing. So let's take another look at the drawing. 
can see again, we have taken this part, this resistor and uh, this transmitter apart, and this is how it actually looks. A just short reminder of what we are going to do. We are actually going to just solder two resistors in the middle and connect the wirings. Nothing else than that. So let's put out some resistors. I have this here now. I have chosen 2.7k resistors that should be fine as long as both, both of them are the same. A little bit hard to focus for this camera. Um, so I have turned on the soldering iron and I will now solder them into place like that. One to each side. That should be fine. Solder, this is what you will end up with. If we put this here again, you will see that you need to connect the brown in the middle, the white and the red. So what you do is, is you take this controller, make sure that you loosen this one that you already have here. Just grab a plier of any kind and turn it away and then loosen it. You need to desolder the cables on this one here, the white and yellow one. The white you will be using, but the yellow one you will not be using. So the yellow one you can actually just cut off. When doing that, you also need to remove the brown wire here, because that one we need to use, and we need to use the red one. Sorry for the quality here. Uh, when that's done, so let's go ahead and mount this one. That one should go inside here, so to be able to do that, you need to remove the screws on this here. So let's do that. Time to mount this. As you can see, here it is. Um, I have loosened the red one, the brown one. The yellow one is cut, the white one is ready to be solar as well. So you have all those three. Leaving the black and the white on this knob here is totally fine. So what you first need to do is to make sure that this one actually fits here and it does so. When that's done, you just go ahead and solder the three wires. Remember the order of them, that it should be red in the end, uh, brown in the middle and white in the other end. That's really, really important. So we take the brown one in the middle. It's really hard to do without me showing my face in the camera. And of course, my space on the storage card on the camera went out, so I didn't film the rest. But what you do afterwards is that you actually mount this back. Uh, as long as you have put all the wires on, and you will have the three button switch mounted. So let's see if it actually works. To be able to do that, let's see if I can remove this. You need to connect the battery. Uh, make sure you connect it on the right way. The red is on the inside. And of course, the power was on, it shouldn't have been. So let's see what we can do here. So what you now need to do is that you need to go into setup and make sure your channel A, that's the one that we are going to use because this was VRA and we are going to use that one on the channel 5. When that's done, just hit display and try it out. One endpoint, middle, the other endpoint. Voila! You now have a three button switch on your Flysky FST6. Lots of things to do. Put this together. Remember, four screws, and you're done, and you can go out and fly. Hopefully, and someone will get something out of this and be able to create their own three channel switch on your Flysky transmitter. If so, Please like, subscribe and comment and let me know your thoughts and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.